Hello and welcome to another video by the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to integrate the Bond Bridge with If This Then That. This will enable access for WebCore to interact with the Bond Bridge and control fans or fireplaces currently controlled by the bridge. Currently, the Bond Bridge does not support integration with SmartThings directly, but it is on the roadmap. So, for right now, the only option to have SmartThings control the Bond Bridge is with If This Then That. If you'd like to learn more about the Bond Bridge, check out my video on it where I go over its features, how to set it up, and how to configure it to be able to control your fans. You can find the link for the video below. For this example, we will be setting up WebCore to trigger multiple If This Then That applets to control the on and off state of a fan light as well as the fan itself. To get started, you either need to be on the Discovery section for If This Then That or click on Get More at the top right hand corner. From here, search for Bond and then select Services. Next, click on the Bond icon. This will bring us to the information page for Bond. Here you can see multiple applets that are already created that can be used, such as turning a fan on when SmartThings detects presence, turning off a fan when Ecobee reports a room is too cold, or turn your fan on when the door is unlocked. From this page, click on Connect. A new window will open and you will log in to your Bond account and then authorize access to it for if this then that. Once authorized, we can start making custom applets for Bond that WebCore will trigger. To do this, click on your account in the top right hand corner and click on Create. From the applet creation window, click on the plus sign next to this. From the new window, search for webhooks and select the service. Here we will find the event name that will be sent from WebCore. Enter whatever you want here. Just make sure to remember it and do not put spaces in the event name. Next, click on the new plus sign and search for Bond. Select the action you want to do. For this applet, we will pick Turn On Device. In the new window, select the fan you want Bond to turn on and click on Create. Next, click on Finish on the Applet Review page. We will then need to repeat the process for each on and off action and for both the fan itself as well as the fan light. This will equate for four total applets, which can be very daunting if you have a few fans and why I can't wait for SmartThings integration. One thing to note is that Bond sees the fan and the fan light as different devices, so if you plan on having multiple applets, you'll want to keep track of everything. Once all the applets are created, it's time to move on to the WebCore dashboard. If you do not have your WebCore instance integrated with If This Then That, check out the description below for a video for my Getting to Know WebCore series about how to set that up. For this example, we will use the double tap feature of a Z-Wave Plus light switch to operate the fan on and off functions, and the normal on and off function for the fan light control. In the WebCore dashboard, click on Create a New Piston and select Create a Blank Piston. Give your piston a name and click on Create. In the Piston dashboard, create a new if statement. In the first if statement, we will select the room light switch and select button 1, which is double tap up. Next is to add the action under the statement. For the action, we will select the if this then that maker option and select the value to match that of the applet you wanted to trigger. Afterwards, we will need to create three additional if statements so that we have one for each if this then that applet. Do take note that I mentioned specific buttons for the switch double taps, but do not have them selected in this part of the footage. This is how it should actually look. I have fixed them for the testing I will be doing shortly. If you want to dive more into WebCore or looking for some piston ideas, check out my entire series on getting to know WebCore. Once all four if statements are created, it's time to save the piston and test everything out. Tapping the top switch turns the fan light on. Tapping the bottom light switch turns it off. Double tapping the top button turns the fan on as expected. And finally, double tapping the bottom button turns the fan off. There is going to be a little bit of lag due to if this then that being used and is what can be noticed during testing. That's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel immensely. And I would love to know what type of home automation setups you're currently working on or have recently set up, so let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.